today. From Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. We'll see Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers taking on Mitchell Trubisky and the Chicago Bears. Well, if you listen closely, Coach, you can hear the jet skis roaring in the bay just a few miles north of where we sit at Lambeau Field. Just a beautiful late summer day in Wisconsin. We all know this community lives for its Packers, and the green and gold came out of the tunnel a short time ago, and it was loud. We are ready for football. So are they as the Packers get set to match up with the Chicago Bears. and we're underway from Lambeau. This one fielded at the five. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Leading the Packers offense out here, the same man who has been doing so since 2008. That's the great Aaron Rodgers. A lot of people thought the Packers might struggle a bit in 2019, but that was not the case. 13 wins, a trip to the NFC Championship game, and they were led by their quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, who led their team to a Super Bowl title after the 2010 season, and many thought that was the first of what would be many more. So precise with the football. 26 touchdown passes last year and just four interceptions. He knows how to get it downfield and still take care of it as well. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 23 yards, the final tally. One of the underrated aspects of Devontae Adams' game is his toughness. He had to battle his way through injury last year. And while his numbers may have dipped, he was still the number one target for the Green Bay Packers and their quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, and still one of the best receivers in the league. Constantly works on his footwork, constantly works on how he gets away from defenders in order to get open. He's a guy that number 12, his quarterback, trusts implicitly. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Looks pretty evident what they want to do. The same connection to start the game on back-to-back -back throws. But when you've got a big-time target, you've got to go to him. The flip side is, shouldn't the defense know that? They yeah. should be better prepared. Absolutely. They're going to have to step up and in a hurry. To back good plays, have them on the move on first down. To throw is Rodgers. That's complete to Lazard. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete from the 25 here's second and six now the man from utep this is aaron jones trying to bounce it outside but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. 
Eddie Goldman on the tackle. A huge man, hard to move out of the way. He's in his sixth year with the Bears out of Florida State. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. So on now for the Packers is their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. And the 13-year man puts it through. But hang on, a flag is down. Now, if it's on the defense, they might decline it and take the points. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down. What a big break. Leads to a first and ten. After the penalty, it's Jones. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. They're looking at a second and eight now from the 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. This will be caught at about the five. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. I remember when Alan Lazard came out of Iowa State, many questioned his speed and wondered if he could separate from defenders downfield. He got pressed into action in the middle of last year due to injury for Green Bay and wound up second on the team in receiving yards as he developed and got better each and every... And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. From three yards out, and the Packers have taken the early lead. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. And it's good to make it 7-0 Packers. So that drive goes eight plays. And the result, a Green Bay score. After the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. The Bears getting the football here offensively. And the man in charge at QB. It is fourth year now from North Carolina, Mitchell Trubisky. We've seen a lot of ups and downs in the young career of Mitchell Trubisky. Three years with the Chicago Bears. And he's a young quarterback still learning on the job. But what numbers do you trust with him? Eight and seven, 15 starts last year. But he was 11 and three the year before. 
The Bears offense though in 2019, just 25th in passing and 29th overall. They're looking for Mitchell Trubisky to elevate his game and bring the Bears along with him. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. He'll throw from the gun and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there and it's second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Out of the gun, Trubisky, and Graham's got it, complete. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. So on fourth down, on is the punter Pat O'Donnell to kick it away. Tyler Irvin back deep. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice that it all came together. But I'll bet you it got galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10, just shy of the 30. He'll set up the throw from the gun. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. The first carry now, this is Williams. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. They'll keep on the ground with Jones. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So still 14 yards to go, second down. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. Pressure and he's taken down, a bear sack. That sack by Khalil Mack. 
And there's a familiar sight, Khalil Mack putting a quarterback down in the backfield for another sack. I know he only had eight and a half sacks in 2019, so a lot of people wrote that off as, hey, what's going on with Khalil Mack? You do realize he's getting doubled and tripled on just about every snap, but that was the first time since his rookie year of 2014 that he finished the season with less than 10 sacks. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Here's Rodgers to throw. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They do get 18, but even that won't be quite enough. It's fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. On fourth down, here's Green Bay's third-year punter, J.K. Scott. Tariq Cohen is deep for the Bears. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. His throw incomplete. He was trying to get it that time to Ted Ginn. That'll bring up second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Again from the 20 after the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Here's Trubisky to throw. And quickly into the hands of Robinson. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Always thought Allen Robinson was a high flyer from his days at Penn State, and none of that has changed with the Chicago Bears. If you throw the ball out to the perimeter, if it's a 50-50 ball, more times than not, he's going to come down with it. And some say he was the victim of some subpar quarterback play last year. He didn't let that bother him at all. Stud, 98 catches and over 1,000 yards receiving. Allen Robinson just goes out and plays and plays hard each and every week. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing it up fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch called for and made, but they may back him up 10 here and have him do it again. We can't have that. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 22. And he'll throw right away. And he hits his target, the tight end Lewis. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. 
From the gun, it's Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Here's second and a yard. Working from the gun, Rodgers. This one complete to Devin Funches. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Now there's a target that just about any quarterback would like to throw to. Devin Funches, one of the big body receivers in the league who can go up and get it. The former Carolina Panther played one game with the Indianapolis Colts in 2019 before breaking his collarbone. Excellent hands, monster target, kind of forgiving target for a quarterback. The Packers really need him to develop and give them another option on the perimeter. Now throwing on first down and completing it. And he's taken down inside the 30. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. They'll run on first down. It's Jones. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down, it's Jones. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. Slant to Adams. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. 
And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. The keeper gets him seven that time, but it'll lead to a third down. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. Brings up fourth down, solid coverage by the Bears' D. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. This offense converted once already in this first quarter. They're going to try it again here on fourth down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And my goodness, this is incomplete. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Following the penalty, Montgomery. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. Working with his second and four. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. That one, a first down pickup of eight. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. The first carry for the shifty Tariq Cohen. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Kenny Clark came into the league as one of the youngest players ever to be drafted. He's now one of the unsung leaders of this Packers defense. Went to the Pro Bowl for the first time after the 2019 season. Throwing on second and eight, Trubisky, he'll run it. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. He can run for it, and he will. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Excellent job on the keeper. 20 yards and a first down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, 
I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Second and seven. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. The connection made, it's Graham. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49, a gain of just two. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? The Bears on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. From the shotgun is Trubisky. He may try and run for this. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. Someone knew exactly where he needed to get to pick up that first down now. I'm not so sure about the technique in getting there, but he went for it and he got it. Exactly. He knew where he needed to get, because remember, if he slides, when that derriere dips, if you will, that plays over. The derriere dips, I like that one. Yeah, been working on it for a little bit. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky. He'll try and run it. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. On second down, Montgomery. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On the carry, it's Montgomery. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now a second down and six. Coming right, this is Montgomery on the toss. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space a loss results there. The Bears on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and nine. Now Trubisky to throw. The screen pass here to Cohen. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. I would think that by now people are done underestimating Tariq Cohen because of his stature when they see him at about 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, but he can do it all. He can run inside, run to the perimeter, but he also catches the ball really well out of the backfield. And he had more receptions than carries last season. He kind of looks like Darren Sproles, who's been his inspiration as an NFL player. In 2018, Tariq Cohen was a pro bowler as well. A first trip to the red zone for the Bears. First and 10 right at the 20. 
Now a run with Montgomery. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on their early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Here's Trubisky. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. My high school coach, John Ford, used to say all the time, if you're in a bad situation, laddie, don't compound it with a bad decision as well. And I think that's what we just saw there. Harassed in the pocket, and he throws into double coverage anyway. He called you laddie? He called me laddie, and that was the nicest thing he called me. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Eddie Pinheiro on now for the Bears. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong lot of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This taken in about four yards deep. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. And that's complete to Adams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now it's Rodgers. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. To throw again. Rodgers. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. 
Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz. And even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He completes it to Jones. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Here's J.K. Scott now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at the 20. He'll set up to throw. Caught by Montgomery. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And this is a catch by Ted Ginn. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Trubisky will throw. Steps away. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. Second and 14. Now it's Trubisky. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down, then a near sack. They got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback, because that was awfully close. The Bears on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 14. He'll buy some time right. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he's on to punt for Chicago. And 
It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Aaron Rodgers, he's getting ready to go again here on offense. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 23. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. Takes this to the 27, give him four yards. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? On second down, it's Jones. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. The Packers on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Give him 15 there and the Packers have a first. So many times someone's success is the product of a lot of things coming together really well. And for Aaron Jones in 2019, it all came together for him. He stayed healthy, was on the field for all 16 games, got handed the ball 100 more times last year, and as an end result, broke a thousand yards in a season rushing for the first time in his career. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Now Jones. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. This is Jones. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he's on to punt for Green Bay. 
He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll start things on first with Torrey Cohen. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. The opening play and the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. The throw over the middle taken in. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone, following a pickup of about seven or eight. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Throwing here, Trubisky. He may try and run for this. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. First down now, but the clock continues to move. On first and ten, it's Trubisky. Again has it complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Now it's Trubisky. Robinson's got it. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. They go play action with Trubisky, sliding out of the pocket. And now he's going to use his legs. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield, those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Trubisky to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. But it will be second down. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Get up. 
Here's second and ten. Now Trubisky. No. Now Trubisky lost the football, and the Packers pick it up. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. He was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. In the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack, put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so, oh, there's the bonus for you as a defender. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense, trotting back out. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Good starting field position for him as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Looking deep downfield, and that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call, but they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. They'll run it with Jones. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And Lewis has it, the tight end. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Midfield. Here's Rodgers. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. Now the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it upfield, and that brings up second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. A final shot before half for Rodgers. He's going to float this over the middle deep. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And they extend their lead. A little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. 
And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. So here's the Bears' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. A carry here for the big tight end. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. On second down, Trubisky. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Jimmy Graham, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. On first down, Trubisky. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. It's brought in by Harris. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Trubisky to throw again. And Robinson with a big catch. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. So they go from 142 yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Looking to throw again, Trubisky, and Graham's got it, complete. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, I haven't met an NFL player yet that doesn't use criticism as an edge, and Jimmy Graham has heard that a number of people think he's near the end of his career. And he didn't put up the numbers he should have put up in Green Bay with Aaron Rodgers. I think he's going to play with a huge chip on his shoulder. Nice catch there. He wants to show flashes of that form that he exhibited early in his career with New Orleans and Seattle. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. 
Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And his throw is incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. the 30 as they come up second and 10. Out of the gun, running with Cohen. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there were very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. Well, this is caught by Ginn. Give him nine there on the first down completion. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. To throw again on second down. Trubisky looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to find Anthony Miller there, and it's third and short. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. On third and one, it's Trubisky. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll fake a block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking catch the ball and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer, he just dropped the pass. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to 6 now. So a decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvaged three out of it, but they inch a bit closer. Yeah, but still lots of time to go in this one. That's why you hear that clapping on the sidelines, <laughs> right? Hey, got some points. As you said, inching their way back in. Time left to go out and get that victory. So the lead trim down to eight as here comes the kickoff and it's away. From the six. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? 
I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really looked clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. A gain of six there on first. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And Adams has it, complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Rodgers finding Adams for a Packer first. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not to, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. down carry by Jones and he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory a nice run there nine yards and it'll be second down and there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps you don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon Again, it's Jones, and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. First and ten, here's Rodgers. And he hits his target, the tight end Lewis. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do. When you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Line of scrimmage in the 31 now on first and 10. They go back to the ground with Jones. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Danny Trevathan there to bring him down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. From the 27, Rodgers, he sets up the screen to Jones. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll be third down. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them, ran a screen, 
and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he gets it to Funches complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 19. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, Rodgers. He's got Lewis. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. The Pro Bowl wideout, Devontae Adams, his intended receiver. But it'll be second and goal. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss on one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. He definitely wants that one back. Rodgers again now. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. And now third and goal following incompletions on first and second down. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. They went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. So on now for the Packers is their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Crosby is good, and that will extend their lead here to 17-6. That drive just seemed to go for an eternity. I could kind of hear our sponsor say, hey, we need to get our product pushed here, and then it ends in a field goal. Yeah, how about that? Not enough time for product placement but plenty of time to get three points out of the deal. <laughs> I know that the guys on defense, though, they wanted to get those products out there. They wanted to stop that drive, just were unable to do so. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. And this carries into the end zone. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. 
Onto the field now come the Bears. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and ten at their own 25-yard line. They'll start with a give to Cohen. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Do that every time. Every time. Man, why are we doing this? So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. the penalty Montgomery and nothing doing he's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter yeah but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game I would say keep feeding the horse and I believe he'll eventually reward them especially as we get deeper in the game on second and 15 now Trubisky, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. After that sack we just saw, Trubisky and the Bears deal with a third and long. Out of the gun, Trubisky. He'll leave it for Cohen, complete. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. Thirty-seven yards on the punt with no return and the offense will take over with a new set of downs number 12 back out there Aaron and his Packer teammates set to begin their drive so Charles there are the numbers what's happened here defensive adjustments that's caused him to sort of fall off a bit I think so that has to happen you've got to make some changes because in the first half they were pretty effective but the second part is sometimes when you're doing really well you get off your game a little bit. You get off the gas a little. You're like, okay, we've got this thing. And that's not necessarily the case. Maybe right now, someone just needs to tell a joke in the huddle, loosen things up, and get their big guy going again. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and 10, Jones. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Rodgers setting up the screen here Aaron Jones 
And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. On third down, you'll give them that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. They were able to get him down and force the punt. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. And this has not been their best half so far. They're down double digits already and now forced to operate from inside their own five. And what they have to do now is not curse their fate as much as focus on the task at hand. Inside their own five-yard line, they've got to be careful of taking care of the football and not turning it over for the defense to score additional points. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. It's a six yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. On second down and four, Trubisky. This is Miller, complete. And they'll get him down up past the 15. It's a first down on a gain of 10. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. The first round pick, Jair Alexander, making the tackle. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Trubisky will throw. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open. Don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Here's Trubisky. And that will be incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. On oh, the return is Irvin. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They've got a chance now to put this game away following that last defensive stop and punt. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 37. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. 
And I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. They stay on the ground. This time, it's Williams. Williams loses the football, and this is picked up by the Bears. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. The Chicago offense set to get started. They trail by two scores in the fourth, and their defense did its job getting the fumble recovery. Now time to see what this offense has left in the tank. the fumble recovery it's Trubisky the screen pass here to Cohen and this winds up a gain of four to the 41 they need a touchdown the two-point conversion and a field goal pretty good start to the drive though yeah good start to the drive but the urgency has to really be increased by both the players on the field and everyone on the sidelines got to make sure everyone is up and into this game four yards on that last completion so that sets up second and six Here's Trubisky to throw, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. On third down, Trubisky. Again has it complete. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. What happened? Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and 10. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. On second down, Montgomery. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's gonna be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway.
So the lead trim down to eight as here comes the kickoff, and it's away. This taken in about four yards deep, and this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and ten. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Rodgers going to throw. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Khalil Mack picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Second and 16. Now Rodgers. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Charles, thinking back to what you said in the first quarter, that part of the magic elixir for a road victory for these underdogs was going to be winning the turnover battle. Well, they only have one right now. Look at the scoreboard. Yeah, not exactly playing to the form that I subscribed, right? When you talk about winning that turnover battle, that evens things out, especially for a road team, especially for a team that's an underdog. And that's complete to Adams. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the Bears take over. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Well, the defense got its job done, forcing the punt. Now the formula pretty simple. They need to find the end zone here. A field goal doesn't help them much. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky, rolling to his left. He's going to take off with it. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check, he'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Trubisky. This is caught by Gann. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. A big play, third and two. This crowd dying for a stop. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. Rolling to his right. He can run for it, and he will. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Field now. Here's Trubisky. He's going to take off with it. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. He certainly had plenty of success running the ball, and right now I'm getting the sense that he's looking to take off and run every time he steps back to throw it. But they did a nice job there collapsing on him and holding him to a short gain. Throwing again on second down. Trubisky, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Now it's Trubisky. Buying time to his left. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Packers pick it up. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. And that play just looked a little helter-skelter from the start. That's the risk as a quarterback. Once you take off with that football, you might fumble it, and he did. And he was going for the reward, which is gaining yardage, breaking down a defense. But you're right about the risk. Always lurking out there, someone always trying to get to the football. Try to find a place to cover up and slide and protect what you've earned. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they'll be hoping to work a little clock and try to add on to this slim fourth quarter lead. But whatever happens on this drive, certainly a huge fumble recovery by their defense at this juncture. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And he hits his target, the tight end Lewis. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 15 yards on the play. First down. 
Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick outs, things that they consider safe. They get it to Funchess on the jet sweep. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. I know you're trying to wring every yard out of a run, but I think nine yards there is ideal in this situation. Yeah, now next couple plays, you only need one yard. Keep that clock rolling with a lead here in the four. Yeah, what you're saying is maybe if it takes you one or two more runs to get the first down, that's extra time, extra plays. Really hurts the team on defense. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. No gain on that one, and it's going to bring up a third down. Usually the offense has an answer to anything a defense throws at them, including a safety valve. And that's what they did on that play. They went there, but the defense still made an excellent play and held them to no gain. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Mike, Mike, check, check. 59, 59. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. To Sean Gibson there on the tackle. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Balled it to 26, second and seven. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He completes it to Jones. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. On first down, Jones. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner, 100 yards or more in a game. Only the Titans converted more red zone opportunities into touchdowns than the Packers last year, and they've got an opportunity here, first and goal. And it's caught, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll run it with Williams. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Packers add on to their lead. That almost
almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Extra point try now for Crosby. And the lead is up to 15 now. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was Jamal Williams who ended things with a touchdown run. For the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Trubisky readies the offense. Down by 15. A little under two and a half to go. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. First down, Trubisky. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. And quickly into the hands of Robinson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. Well, the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside. Make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him. And the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 31-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Looking to throw again, Trubisky. That's complete to Robinson. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 20-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they had planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. 
I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Trubisky to throw again. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Again, it's Trubisky. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Cohen. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. And just a yard to go here on second down. Able to shake him off. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Third and goal. And keep in mind, very possibly four down territory out of the gun, Trubisky. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Jair Alexander, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. And he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. It's a pickup of 17 there. And it's going to yield a new set of downs. So it's all over, a Green Bay victory, and I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done, really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You just you're, like you're one handing game out, ball? You're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural, yeah, but yeah, I... But, but I, I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I, represent, yeah. like, the best player of all yeah. of that, and I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You... I thought I was the only child. You yes, get a like game ball, <laughs> and you get a game ball. Game balls for everybody. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.